I want to show you what a $500,000 home looks like in this beautiful mountain town of LJ, Georgia. Today, we are in the foothills of the Blue Ridge Mountains in a nice little town called Ella J, Georgia. In my opinion, this is how I often describe Ella J to people. You're not in the mountains, you're at the foothills of the mountains. Ella J tends to be a little bit more residential than second home. And so if you are thinking about a residential home, that's exactly what we have for you today. This is Will Taylor with Your Way Home. Before we do anything else, make sure to like and subscribe for more content just like this. We are at a lovely new development in LJ called The Hammocks. The particular home we're at today was built in 2024. It's listed as a three bedroom, two and a half bath, 1929 square feet on just under an acre. The list price is $519.9. This home is priced right in step with the LJ area. If you do a little bit of research, you will find that in this month, or actually the last month of, uh, of this year in the month of July, the average price per square foot was $291 per square foot. If you do the math, you're we're actually about 270 a square foot here, which is a great deal. So as we come to the front door, you'll actually notice that we're in uh, what should be the third bedroom. Now, it looks like these particular homeowners probably opened up this door here and made this like a sitting room home office. So while it's listed as a three bedroom, it's really functioning as a two bedroom uh, for these current owners. But if you need a third bedroom, that's easy to fix. You've got LVP throughout the home. You've got nice tall ceilings, 10 foot. You've got some crown molding. So as we come out of the foyer, we come into the living room. And one thing that I love about this space is you've got nice tall ceilings. It looks like they're 10 foot throughout the home. You've got a beautiful um, gas fireplace, ventless, uh, which means, just for, for you guys that, that aren't maybe familiar with a lot of our vernacular, means that there is no chimney and you cannot do real logs in here. But this open concept feel is a trend that continues, been the trend for, for probably over a decade now. Beautiful, beautiful space. So we're gonna step out of the living area and then voila, we are in the kitchen. Beautiful granite countertops, um, little dining room slash breakfast area that being utilized there. You can see out to your backyard, so the great natural light. In the kitchen, I actually love this color. So it looks like it's white. If you were here with me, you would notice this is actually called antique white. This is a shaker style cabinet with oil rubbed bronze fixtures. You've got a cooktop, which I actually like also. Gives you more cabinet space to store. You got a nice tile backsplash microwave oven oven combination this is a kitchen that anybody would fall in love with right now we step into the primary suite for this size house this is actually a very good size master suite it looks like the current owners have a king size bed in here and as you can see there is plenty of room for nightstands for dresser drawers for tvs this is what you can expect at a home in a home for this price if you follow me, we'll come on in here to the owner's ensuite bathroom. In here, we have the granite countertops that are the same that were in the kitchen, the same cabinet finishes, again, which is very popular. Um, you've got some, what looks like to be tile floors in here. You've got a huge walk-in closet and a frameless barn door shower, which is actually a really unique finish. Off the main living area, we have this nice size laundry area. One thing that's becoming very trendy is for the laundry room to be close to the master bedroom. Now, no matter who does your laundry in your house, you'll appreciate if it's if you get to walk closer, not farther. On the other side of the house, from the master, we have the secondary bedroom. Pretty standard 
standard size for a secondary bedroom. If I had to guess, this is probably a 10 by 12 room. The nice little feature that this has is your high ceilings continue. Sometimes you'll see in, in homes at this price point that they'll have high ceilings in the living room and you have lower ceilings throughout. So the fact that the builder took the time to maintain the high ceilings is a nice little extra touch. Also, this is another feature that's not real common in a subdivision like this where the homes are primarily spec. You have a secondary walk-in closet. As we step outside of this home, you're gonna notice some lovely choices by the builder. You're gonna see two different types of siding. You're gonna see more of a traditional hardy plank. You're gonna see some board and batten. And then you're gonna see this lovely stone finish. Well guys, I wanna thank you for joining me today at this lovely listing in the Hammock Subdivision in LJ, Georgia. Remember, if you're looking to buy and you're in that $500,000 price range, this is what you can expect in LJ. I wanna give a special shout out to the listing agent, Mr. Greg Martin with Remax Town & Country. Thank you for letting us see your beautiful listing and make sure guys to like and subscribe to Your Way Home, Will Taylor, where there's a will, there's a way, where faith, hope, and love meet real estate. Call me if you're thinking about buying in LJ, Georgia. Thank you.